They don't happen again, no. Hey, my people. Anek and APC, they don't surprise. They don't squat. I don't say if dog surprise, it will squat down. They say they surprised for court yesterday. If you see evidence for everywhere when PDP and Labour Party they carry come out against them, my people, when I will watch and how this guy did analyze them. So because me, I don't go court, I don't know what happened there. I just see the news now. I say, make a present and make on see the way the thing they happen. My people, as now they watch and so make on share this video. Leave your comment for the comment section, like it, follow us on this page so that Facebook could recommend it to other people to see. My people, make I don't forget say we have national actor on this platform. Oh, I laba brum, brum laba. I don't come again, oh, come again, oh, they kill us now. Up, up, with this and they go. Make on watch and the way the guy they analyze and now be this so not all. It will be on the Labour Party chief tens entering the courtroom for the continuation of hearing of his petition by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. Earlier, Atiku's legal team requested an adjournment from the court, which was granted anyway. This adjournment is to enable them to put their house in order and maybe educate their witnesses better. Because what happened yesterday in court, no matter how PDP guys want to hype it, it was not a good showing for the witnesses. How can a witness be claiming that Labour Party cannot win Nasrawa State and when asked the authentic results, he couldn't say and started quoting one PDP national agent. If truly they had a national agent during the election and he is in possession of the result, why didn't Atiku's legal team bring the person to court to testify by himself? In the eyes of the law, the testimony of the witness that they brought to court can best be described as hearsay. That's why the lawyer that cross-examined him capitalized on it when he asked him if the national agent of the PDP is alive. PDP's case is just all over the place. It's not very clear what they want and their options are very limited because Atiku won't participate in a runoff, assuming that's the verdict the judges will arrive at. A runoff election will be between P2B and Tinubu. We made a video about it and for those who think a runoff is between the first and the second person, the video link will be at the end of this video. Now, let's see the full transcript of today's proceedings. Labour Party's lead counsel, Levi Uzuku SAN, represented Labour Party today. Pinhero SAN for INEC. Wale Olani Beku for Tinubu and Shetima and Fabuni SAN for APC. The presiding judge, Honorable Justice Samani, quickly apologized. We are sorry we are coming in a bit late this afternoon. There are certain matters we needed to sort out. Labour Party lead counsel introduced Ben and Achebe SAN as the person that will lead today's proceedings. And he began by saying, My Lord, we will be tendering forms EC8Bs of all the states and I will plead for time's sake. If my Lord will allow me, call out all the states and then we tender it together while the adoption will take place together. The presiding judge wasn't convinced and he declined. No, we won't do that. We have to call it one after the other. Let's be consistent with our process. LP counsel replied, As you wish, my lord, I'm tendering 21 local government area from EC8Bs of Adamawa State. While he was calling the LGAs one by one, the INEC counsel in his usual manner objected to the admissibility of the forms. No need mentioning this any longer because they will oppose everything despite the fact that they stamped these documents and delivered them to the Labour Party. The presiding judge also started today in a very jovial manner when Tinubu's counsel wanted to give the mic to his colleague. He said, you are passing the mic to Mike. <laughs> the name of the person is Mike and they want to give him a mic, short for microphone. <laughs> Tinubu's lawyer had told the court that he will give the microphone to his colleague, Mike SAN, to express their objection. APC counsel also raised their objections against the tendering of the INEC from EC8Bs by the Labour Party counsel. After calling the 21 LGAs in Adamawa State, LP Council said, We are now tendering into evidence INEC certified forms EC8Bs of eight local government areas in Bayelsa State. As usual, objections came raining down from the trial of INEC, Tinubu and APC councils. Nevertheless, the presiding judge announced their admission into evidence and subsequent marking as exhibits. The Labour Party Council went on to tender more documents and tried to make fun of INEC. We are now tendering into evidence INEC certified forms EC8Bs of eight local government areas in Bayelsa State. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. It's strange that INEC that is funded with the public money will be conducting themselves this way in public. It's not their job to defend Tinubu or APC. However, they want to defend them in court. They should be able to draw a line. It's quite unfortunate that INEC officials cannot do basic additions and subtraction. Their top officials didn't even bother to cross-check the figures before passing the result to the next level. This is just trying to assume that they genuinely made a mistake, but we all know it was intentional. It was a heist. All the people that monitored the election can be wrong. All the party agents can be wrong. Even results on IREF isn't wrong. Their own CTCs being tendered by the Labour Party are at variance with what they announced. In the face of all this, all INEC could come up with are objections, objections, objections.
the Labour Party Council have now moved from Bayelsa to Benue State. He tendered from EC8Bs from 23 local government areas of Benue State. After which the presiding judge made his remark, these documents of from EC8Bs are now admitted by the court as evidence and tagged exhibits. The Labour Party Council moved to Kogi State where they tendered certified through copies of from EC8Bs in 21 local government areas of Kogi State. After they were admitted in evidence by the presiding judge, the LP Council said, Let's move on to Nasrawa. Kindly go to page 60 of the schedule. May it please your lordship, sir. And he went on to tender INEX CTCs of from EC8Bs from 11 local government areas of Nasrawa State. The presiding judge also acknowledged the 11 from EC8Bs of Nasrawa State are admitted as evidence and marked as exhibits EAD1 to EAD2. The Labour Party Council went on to tender INEX CTCs of from EC8Bs from 25 local government areas of Niger State. After which the presiding judge gave his usual acknowledgement. It was like a chorus. When he finishes calling them, the judge will give his acknowledgement, while the other parties will also chorus their objections. <laughs> After Niger State, the Labour Council tender results from Ondo State. The INEC from EC8Bs cover 18 local government areas in Ondo State. It was at this point while he was tendering them that the presiding judge made a remark about the dressing of some lawyers. <laughs> this judge, I am seeing a lot of improper dressing in the courtroom. You are not dressed properly. See your hair looking like, this is true. If it were civil cases or other trials, he would not allow them in court. He admonished the senior lawyers to train the junior lawyers working with them very well. He finished by saying that he wouldn't want to see them not dressed properly tomorrow. The LP counsel replied, we will all keep watch on them, my lord. Their hair should be packed neatly. He also sought permission from the court to tender more documents as he put it in a jab to INEC. Now, I wish to tender to one local government area as duly certified through copies of from EC8Bs received from the custody of INEC and duly procured from INEC. <laughs> this is making it very obvious. They are making fun of INEC now. That's good. But you can't shame people who are shameless. After tendering from EC8Bs from Sokoto, the presiding judge, as usual, acknowledged reception. From there, he moved to tender documents from 25 local government areas in Delta State. From Delta, he went to tender documents from Imo State. Let's hear the exchange. My Lord, I'm presenting 26 local government area from EC8Bs for now for Imo State. We listed 25, but it's 26, my Lord. The judge asked him, which one is missing? He goes on to explain that it was omitted by INEC, but it's there. To which the judge responded, no problem, we will add it. But before he could round up Imo State, they still discovered that one was still missing, so he apologized. My lord, apologies. We will look through and tender the remaining one another time. And the judge once again acknowledged that they've admitted 25 local government areas from EC8Bs in evidence and marked as exhibits. Something funny happened when he was tendering documents for Kaduna State. The presiding judge knows how to crack jokes. He said, we have more than 19 local government areas here. I'm seeing Japa LGA. <laughs> It's not Japa, the LC council responded. He continued, We don't want to Japa. Japa is when you're leaving the country. <laughs> the local government area the judge wanted to pronounce was Japa, local government area, Kaduna. So he went on to tender documents of 21 LGAs in Kaduna. After that, he tendered documents for 31 local government areas in Oyo State. So basically, the Labour Party legal team are tendering certified through copies of from EC8Bs from many local government areas across many states in Nigeria. We do not want to upload this video very late like yesterday, as some of you are already sending us messages demanding to know about today's proceeding. Labour Party's court session started very late, about 2 p.m., and up till now, past 5 p.m., the court is still in session. In closing, let's address some people asking how the evidence should be tendered. The issue here is that INEC doesn't have a choice. They conducted a presidential election and declared Tinubu winner. Other parties are saying no, that Tinubu didn't win. That's why they are here in the tribunal. So INEC must provide proof of how Tinubu won the election, which they are doing, although they haven't provided all the required documents. Maybe they have lost some. If not, there is no other reason because they must have looked at these documents before concluding that Tinubu won.